Hello everyone, it is morning. It's currently 6.23 in the morning. I can't see anything because I forgot that I needed to order contacts. So I don't have contacts right now. I'm gonna have to wear glasses today. Well, it was kind of a long night. Summer's been pretty fussy. We have a doctor's appointment today for her at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go do my five minute little routine. I just posted a video on that uh, earlier this week. I don't think she's gonna give me a lot of time to get ready. So I'm just gonna do my little five minute thing, eat some breakfast, try to feed her again before we go, um, just because then she'll hopefully be a little less fussy. She loves car rides, so that should calm her down. Just want to be out? Look outside. She loves to look into the light. <laughs> you like music. <laughs> this almost works every time you guys I put on some music and she calms down okay I got myself already I'm wearing a little jumpsuit from Fashion Nova I will try to link it it's nursing friendly because you can just unzip and I have a nursing bra under here um, so I'll try and find it and link it below and I did my little five minute makeup and hair routine. I will link that video down below in the description bar in case you wanna see it. That just went up earlier this week. But I brought you in here because I wanted to show you what I pack in my diaper bag. So I showed this bag in my hospital bag video because this is the bag that I used for my hospital bag. But I have since changed it into a diaper bag. So I have in here the Tote Savvy. I will link this below as well, but it's just like a little insert that you can put in any bag. So in here, I have wipes, diapers, I have more wipes, and I have a swaddle right here, or just a blanket if I need to put this over the car seat or something like that. I also have this little guy from Little Miss Dessa. This you can use as a car seat cover or as a nursing cover. I also have a burp cloth, and I know I have a change of clothes in here somewhere. Here it is, in this little pocket I have a little onesie romper in case we need a change of clothes. So that's basically it. That's what I've been packing in here. This tote savvy does also come uh, right down here. As you can see, this little guy rolls out if you need to change a diaper. I think I am gonna put a pacifier in here. I've tried giving her a pacifier when she's really fussy. I use the even flow ones. They're like shaped just like a nipple because um, I don't want any nipple confusion or anything like that since she is breastfeeding. She hasn't really caught on to the pacifier, but it does satisfy her for like five minutes. So I think I'm gonna put one in here just in case we get really, really fussy or something like that. So this is the pacifier I've been using. Again, it's the Even Flow Balance Plus Pacifier. I'm gonna clean this and put this in here as well. It's currently eight o'clock. My mom is coming by at nine o'clock to pick me and Summer up for the doctor appointment. One thing I just didn't think about is you can't drive after you've had a baby for a few weeks. I, I mean, I guess you can, but you're really not supposed to. I asked at the hospital, like, I'm allowed to drive, right? And they said, no, not until your first OB appointment to make sure you're all good. You should not be driving, I guess, because of like potential blood clots or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't realize that you couldn't drive. So my mom is driving us to our appointment and I'll do a little video at the doctor's if I can. And then if she's being good, we might try to take her to the grocery store. I know she's only like three weeks old and you gotta keep her out of the world for as long as possible, but I need a few things and I'm just dying to like take her out. I would keep her covered in the car seat and everything um, and I wouldn't like even expose her to anybody. 
I'm just dying to like get out and do a normal life thing. I am starting to feel really stuck in this house. So if she's being good and sleeping in the car seat like she normally does, we might try and go into the grocery store, but that'll be like a last minute decision. I just cleaned her pacifier and I attached it to this little bunny. It's this Raz Buddy Passy holder. One of you guys actually got this for me off of my registry. It was so sweet. Uh, one of my subscribers wanted to get me a little gift. So thank you for that. And I put her little pacifier on it. So maybe she'll like it more with the little bunny attached. It's so cute. Okay, good girl. You got your little rompy on. She's like, feed me, feed me now. We're on our way to the doctor. I'm sitting in the back so that she is calm. You can see her here. That was traumatic getting in your car seat, wasn't it? Getting her in the car seat is always an ordeal. She absolutely hates it. And I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Hopefully that gets easier. Oh, I know. Hey. Hey. We just got out of the doctor and Summer was just so unhappy. She's doing all right right now, but uh, the doctor thinks she probably has reflux. We're going to try gas drops first to see if it's gas, but she also prescribed some baby Zantac in case she just isn't feeling better because I was just explaining to her how she's just never happy. Like the past four or five days, she's been so unhappy. She's only happy when she's eating and then other than that, she's just fussing and she must be exhausted, like she hasn't napped nearly at all. This is the first time she's shutting her eyes today. So I'm really, really hopeful that this helps her because it's really emotionally draining to see her in so much pain and constantly crying. And it also doesn't give me any time to sleep either because she's not sleeping herself. So I'm just constantly having to rock her and try and console her and calm her down. So I really hope that this stuff helps. I will keep you guys updated. I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I was planning on hopefully taking her to the grocery store and maybe doing some other things, but she's just had quite a long day and I think I'm just going to focus my attention on her for the rest of the day. Here's Miss Summer. She's finally, finally taking a little nap. The poor girl. She got so riled up going to the doctor and she's just finally calmed down. We got a couple good burps out of her in the doctor. So I think that that helped too. The doctor showed me a different way to burp her. I had been burping her just like up on my chest, but she showed me the way where you sit them in your lap, like over your lap and burp her. And that seemed to work a lot better. So we're gonna keep trying to burp her that way and hopefully that helps. And then maybe these gas drops will help. And if none of that helps, I'm gonna try the baby Zantac because I'm assuming she has some severe acid reflux. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I plan to do, I think what I'm gonna be doing is one vlog a week and then one like actual video a week where I plan something out. So let me know if you guys like that idea. I still want to do two videos a week, but I like the idea of one of them being just a vlog and then one of them being more of like a sit down organized video. That's kind of my plan for the channel. I hope that you guys like that idea. That is it though, guys. I love you all so much. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.